guys, welcome back to Rumor Patrol. Happy Friday. I'm Katie Krause, joined by, of course, my good friend, my PIC, uh, my uh, princess uh, in blue uh, today, uh, Miss Deidre Behar. What's up? How, how are, are you? you? Comment hello. And hello. Hello, hello, hello. How is everyone? <laughs> uh, this week, there's a lot of rumors, a lot of stories about What's going on? Why what our, is going on? Tell us. Our hearts just ache increasingly every week. It's just getting out of control, you guys, and the stories just keep rolling in. So basically, the rumor now is that Amanda went to a trampoline park. It's basically, it's really cool. We would love it. Um, it's this big room with like all these trampolines that you can bounce on. It's called Sky Zone. She went to one in Buffalo. Mm -hmm. TMZ secured a whole bunch of photos of her. She's bouncing. She even, I guess at one point, kind of like interrupted a class that was going on. And trampoline class? A trampoline Sign class. I guess it's a type of fitness. It's actually pretty awesome when you think about it. Okay. But she took to Twitter, she saw the photos, and she is completely denying that they're her. She said, quote, that's not me. Send the picture to me privately first to confirm that it's me. I've never been to Sky Zone. That looks nothing like me. I don't own a brown wig. Now, right off the bat, we know she owns a brown wig. We well, have photos of it, we've seen it. And there was that video when she was trying to get back into her apartment complex, mm -hmm. and she was wearing the a brown wig. Exactly, she switched it up. No, thank God, thank God she lost the, the blonde wig. The blonde, wig. the shaggy blonde. That was just a mess. Yeah. But um, what do you think of this? It's so obviously her. You guys, I guess if you go to one of these trampoline parts, you have to sign a waiver, and she used her name, well, she used her middle name and her last name, and according to people who work at this place, they said that she had all the same tattoos. Same and birthday. Birthday, a lot of similar mannerisms and, and behavior that we've seen of her in the press recently. So all signs point to yes, Yes, only Amanda is saying no. What do you think? I think that this is a pattern that we've been seeing from her very recently. All these photos that are coming out and then her denying that they are her. Same with tweets. Remember she took to Twitter and she just went off on this crazy evil, I would say, rant on Rihanna. And then she denied that she ever said anything and then posted a photo of them together from the past. I think that was like mocked up. But she keeps doing this and keeps taking back her actions yeah. and saying that they weren't her. It's, that make sense? it's yeah. completely manic behavior. She goes 150 miles per hour and then backpedals and claims that that never happened. So there's a lot of idiosyncrasies and differences going on and it's weird. I just want to quickly touch on um, some other mean feuds that she started this week with yeah. Chrissy Teigen and Perez Hilton who they used to be really good friends her and Perez. Mm -hmm. So it's really weird that things that are coming out of this girl's mouth, they are horrific Just on every level. Plain mean girl status. I mean, the way that she attacked Chrissy Teigen online for absolutely no reason at all. It's uncalled for, it's mean, it's catty. Um, and you know, if Chrissy wasn't such a strong person, I mean, I would assume anybody who hurled those kind of insults would be really offended. Mm -hmm. She's so, high road, I absolutely respect, respect that, of course. Um, we'll keep you guys yeah. posted on, on Amanda stuff, but for now, Tell us what you think about this whole trampoline debacle. Right, and her family uh, sort of thinks that she's schizophrenic. Yes. Radar Online reported that, so we actually did the story for all those details. You can click the annotation right there on the video box. Oh yes, you can. Let's move on, what is rumor number two? Rumor number two, you guys, has to do with Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth. OMG, what is going on? Are they or aren't they? Are they or aren't they? So Us Weekly came out this week and said, they're done, he's over it, he is the one that ended things. But then E! Online came out and said, it's not true, they are still living together. He was spotted um, driving up the driveway to the house and they are, they're going through some stuff, but they are working it out. It seems to be like they're just the easiest target to pick yeah. on in Hollywood. I feel like every other week we hear they're back on and they're better than ever and she's flaunting her ring all over Twitter, but then now we're hearing uh, he dumped her and he was driving away from their house and they're complete sp splitsville. I think Miley is a fantastic artist and I think she's a talented girl and I think, again, she's an easy target and people just love to pick on her for like absolutely no reason whatsoever and it really, it hurts my feelings because I feel so sad if someone was picking on me and Dissecting my every fiance. single move in yes. your relationship. And she uploaded that picture on Twitter earlier this week that looked like she was maybe in some sort of vintage princess-esque Victorian wedding gown. So I think, uh, I hope that they are still together. I know it's hard when you're so young and I know she has that album coming out and that's what she's focusing on. Of course, he has uh, the Hunger Games sequel coming out, yes. Catching Fire, so And I think that's busy, awesome. But you know what? 
let's let's not keep saying that they're breaking up when yeah. we don't know. None of us know. None of no us know them. It. Exactly. And I think it's really awesome that they're engaged, but they're taking the time to wait. It's like, yeah. I've got a career, he's got a career, and they're in no rush to get married. And it's like, they're young. Why would they be in a rush? So yeah. Go Lily. Go, Go Lily. Love them. Okay, so for our last and final rumor, right off the bat, you guys, I am pumping the brakes. I'm saying that this is absolute bogus. People are jumping to the conclusion that Selena Gomez is pregnant. No. No, you agree? No. Okay. <laughs> I agree with you. Let's break it down though. People think that she's pregnant because she was scheduled to do this live chat and she canceled it kind of randomly claiming that she had um, some sort of, of maybe food poisoning or illness. She took to Twitter and she said, quote, sorry to everyone for having to cancel today. I'm not sure if I'm sick or ate some bad food, but I feel horrible. I'm going to take the rest of the day and try to get better for tomorrow. So sorry. Love you guys. She said that she ate some bad food. Why are we all of a sudden pouncing on this poor girl and assuming that she's she's having a baby? What? And I get it. She's been uh, canoodling with the Biebs on and off. I totally get it. But for fans, I mean, Twitter was going berserk, you guys. Uh -huh. It was like it was trending on Twitter. It was all over the place. And then she posted that picture of herself jet lagged uh, in London, I guess. Pregnant. Come She's on now. She has that album coming out. She has a, a huge tour coming up this summer. Yeah. I think that she's smarter than that. Uh, no yeah. babies in her future. Not anytime right. soon. I mean, I know she said publicly that she does want a family and she probably wants to be a young mom, but not anytime soon. Of course, she was also in um, London with the Smiths, Will mm -hmm. and Jaden, and they said that when they were all out together, Selena didn't have a sip of alcohol, and ooh, that automatically means she's not pregnant. Not can a, drink. can a girl yeah. go out and have a fun night sober? I know I can. I know I can. So Why does she got a drink? So weird. What does that mean? That no. doesn't mean anything. No. But her mom is pregnant, and she did confirm that. Yes. So that's exciting. I doubt that Selena's pregnant, you guys. So let's just cut the rumors out. Done. No more. Done, no done, more. done. Do you know what time it is? Uh, can I take a guess? Okay. I think it's shout out time! It is! Woo! It is! You wanna Look, go first? I would love to. Okay. Okay, so my first shout out is on YouTube. And um, I did a video about Selena Gomez taking on this new role in this movie called Rudderless. You guys, you have to check it out. I'll put the link in the annotation right here. This movie looks phenomenal. It's really edgy it so and dark. dark. Yeah. yeah, she's apparently taking on lots of sex scenes and her character was in a cult. You know we love cults. We're fascinated Selena. by them. Yeah, what really crazy. So um, my girl, Hypnos Girl 16, what's up Hypnos Girl 16? Yo, yo, yo. She said, I think she, she, meaning Selena Gomez, has a lot of potential. I think her fans should support her as she tries out different genres. She can't have a young audience forever. Do you agree with that? I think I she did a great job in Spring Breakers, kind of making the transition, and now she seems to be taking on more mature roles, and I can't wait to see uh, her career transcend into her adulthood, because she is fierce. Yes. Love her. And I respect the way that she's going about it and taking on those mature roles, but she's also staying very true to her fans with her music, and I think she's doing a great job, so. She gives a piece of herself to all of her fans, old and young. Yeah. What do you got? Okay, so I also have a YouTube comment. So this episode, this week's episode of Shout It Out was our third one, lucky number three. It was a goodie. Karen Mack, you guys, she wrote the nicest comment. She said, Hey guys, I love you two so much, just like a bowl of munchy munch. What munchy munch? That sounds <laughs> sounds so <good>. delicious. <laughs> you light up the world of YouTube news just like a cartoon from Nicktoons. I love your fashion choices, the Instagram pics. It makes me feel like I'm in a chick flick. When I see you have a new video, I quickly click on it with a mind that I own. You guys are amazing, top to the bottom, and obviously you're not stopping. Just to say, I hope you keep going. Your news and your smiles keeps me going. Karen Mack. Is that not the nicest? I mean, Nicktoons, cereal, chick, chick flicks. flicks. Should we go on the record and say that's maybe our best comment yet? Ever. How, how do you guys top that? That's I don't so know. so nice and original and, and thoughtful and creative. And I would love to live in a chick flick. I know growing up, I wanted to live in Clueless what and be friends all? with Sharon Dion. So yes, thank you, Karen. We thank love you. you. Thanks thank for you. watching. Uh, should we take it to Twitter? Let's do it. Let's do it. So um, I want to shout out my good friend Agnesa Cry as you. Sorry if I butchered that. Sounds exotic. Very and beautiful name. Very beautiful. She goes by Agnes Akrizu29. Uh, I was born on the 29th, so it's my favorite number. So go you. She said, at Katie Krause, I enjoyed it so much. It was funny, and you two are so fantastic. Have a good day. Hashtag Clever News is the best. At her name is Deidre Hart. And of course, Aww. she was referring to the last episode of Shout It Out. And 
I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm just really glad that they're liking it. I am too. You guys, if you haven't watched it yet, we will put the link in the description box and we'll also annotate to it, because watch it, because we want to hear what you guys are thinking and we want to talk about your comments. So Yeah, and it's a out. fun and silly way to kind of get to know us a little bit better on like a personal level. We tend to be like crazy spazzes during Stereo, Shout It Out. sweats on the show. Exactly. We keep it real casual, so check it out. Uh, lastly, I also want to give a Twitter shout out to Erin Renee 2001. She said, at Katie Krause, please feature my shout out on the next Clever News broadcast. I love Rumor Patrol. And guess what? We Rumor love Patrol you. loves you, mm -hmm. and so do we. Thanks for your tweet. Yes. I'm just, you know, honoring wishes here today, yep. here on this delightful Friday. Left and right, Jeannie Krause. Yeah, Jeannie Krause, Jeannie <laughs> Behar. Thanks so much, you guys, for your tweets. Should we run down all the rumors? Yes, go ahead, you guys. You know the drill. Take it to the comments section now. Let us know what on earth you think is going on with Amanda Bynes, and if that really is her and all those trampoline pics. Let us know what you think is going on with Lily. Are they on or are they off? And of course, let us know if you think Selena Gomez could or might be pregnant. Interesting stuff this week. You guys hit the comment section, hit Twitter, hit Instagram, Facebook. Let us know what you guys think of all of these rumors. Let us know what you guys are doing this weekend, because I'm curious, are you? I absolutely am. And then before Hopefully you go, yes. And then before you go, uh, fave and like this video and subscribe. If you're already subscribed, maybe tell your friends to subscribe. Would that yes. be okay? I think they should tell a few friends to subscribe. A couple friends. A couple. Do it. Have a great weekend. Yes. I'm Katie Krause. This is Deidre Behar. We will see you guys back here on Monday. Monday. Bye.